All of us who love the book arts um, at BIMA are very excited that we broke loose from the uh, Sherry Grover Gallery and have taken over the top floor of the, of the museum. So throughout the Pfefferman Gallery, we have examples of artists' books um, that haven't been able to be shown before because of their size, um, their nature, the, um, they don't always stay contained within the covers of a book. We are very excited to have a special guest, uh, Ellen Knudsen, who comes from Florida and is a premier book artist, printer, and teacher. And I really like the idea of having to hit, as a printer, how to, you have to hit these points. So Ellen, let's go and look at your wonderful piece, Intrusion. It is about the human intrusion on the environment. Nature is so resilient, it will take care of itself at our cost, at human, we will be the first to go. We shouldn't have plastic bags. We should have corn. bags made of the, that um, cornstarch. We have these solutions. It's just, it costs a little bit more money, yeah. but, and, and we that's... have it in America. We have it. This piece is so vibrant. And then there's one side that kind of sets this tone, the circus tone, before you see the other side where it's, it's literally images of the circus performer. Sometimes as a printer, if you have great little things, if you see an opportunity where you can use it, I think as a printer, you just do it. Big so. bats are the best. Yeah. <laughs> yes. They're so great. This is lovely. I, I, saw, I saw a lot of ink, and so I wanted to come over and look because as a printer I thought, oh, <laughs> all that coverage, you know, how did they do that? And it is letterpress, linoleum prints. And these are, they're incredibly moving, the, the 14 state, um, stages Just of the, the cross. cross. Uh -huh. yeah. But they're the, modern illustrations. They're modern illustrations in dealing with the AIDS epidemic. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Jesus meets his mother on the way to the clinic for mm -hmm. treatment. And then it becomes about contemporary. this person not wanting people to know about his sex life and things like that. And now he's sick. I really exactly. like this full page of yes. image and then the quiet of this. Yes. So it's, it, you interact with it as a viewer with the image and then you, the quiet of the reading. I mean, I think that's why I wanted to become a book artist personally is that the book does the work of, you know, what, you, what, what artists want their work to do, the book helps a lot. It is not intimidating to people. The book form, we all know what that is. There's nothing yeah. scary. And so yeah. people don't feel like, oh, this isn't for me. I like that you can experience the noise, the visual noise here without words. Right. And then you can get to the explanation. I love what books do in that way, that they can do that.
Is that cloth? It is cloth, and she, um, the poem was sewn with, with needle oh work my gosh. on, and then she dyed the whole thing, and then she took out the thread. So it is, the, oh. the text is what was not dyed. Oh, um, that's lovely. That's a nice little touch, the red knot where they're, they're connected. It's just the same, but then she did this little touch of the red. Which looks sort of like a colon. This is um, wow. Fred Hegstrom's Bravo, which is about another terrible thing that we did out of curiosity to see what nuclear testing would do to humans. <laughs> But the, the impact of these images. Hmm. Tell me how this would be done. Do you have a... Is this folded? I can't tell if it's a, a single sheet of paper. It feels like a single sheet. I think sheet. it's a single sheet, okay. So it, it must be sewn. I mean, the, but the ink coverage is so, it's so, it's so inky, it smells so good. I like the smell of the ink because it starts to become the smell of this thing that was left over, this radiation, the poisoning, right. even though the, we're not smelling the yeah. real, but we get a hint of that yes. with it from the, yeah, smell of the ink. It's images of the people, they're sort of like that style I was talking about, the comic style, yes. because they're not photographs. They're artistic renderings of, but they have an energy to them, a life to them because of that hand carving of movement. Yeah. And I think it's, I, I find it better than but photography, right. not that there's anything wrong with that, but, I, there, but it has a life to it that you just can't get yes. even with a photograph. I like the layering too of um, that background. It gives it a lot of depth. And again, the background suggests just all of the particulate that's in the air. Raining and, down. Mm -hmm. And yes, raining down destruction. This is one book? This is one book. It's called Letter to a Laundress. Carletta Carrington Wilson said that she was inspired to do this when her grandfather died and she realized he had been born in the 1890s and that that meant that his grandparents would have been slaves. I like walking down this little and corridor. And that's Carletta wants people to go, you know, to walk through the laundry. So great. It's, and we wanted it to be different from all of the other galleries. It is an illustration of a saying by Sophie Tucker, what women need in, in the different stages of their life. So from birth to age 18, a girl needs good parents. From 18 to 35, she needs good looks. From 35 to 55, she needs a good personality. And from 55 on, she needs cash. <laughs> I love to see all the different minds that are in here, you know? It's great. It's 
is the first book of yours that I ever got, and um, I'd love you to tell me how you, I mean, what, what provoked it mm. and, um, and how you went about creating this. When I started the book, I was interested in actually looking into a person's body. And so I did an illustration that illustrates looking down into someone's throat. The text of the book is actually taken from um, a horse breeding standards book from the 1890s. But every, everywhere the word horse is used, I took it out and left a blank. Any blank that attempts to bite the judge must be disqualified. Yeah, sometimes there's funny things in here. The Goldilocks method. Better than it is, but not too much or too little. What I was thinking about is how we edit our bodies. And it's really subtractive, like get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this. And it's almost like you're, we're being erased as people. So yeah, that's American Breeding Standards. That's uh, part of the curly wig by Diane Jacobs, who is an extraordinary book artist and print artist as well. She has another two installations out in the okay. um, gallery. Let's go yeah. look at them.